A nice day today, a lot of sunshine, no rain or chilly weather. Yeah, so our meteorologists headed outside. I guess they couldn't resist the chance to get out and about. Hey guys, Dave, you're there with Ben, right? Hey, uh, yes, we are out here live at the new Metro Park, the Scioto Grove Metro Park. And Ben, it has been a gorgeous day. It's hard to think that just two days ago it was so crummy, but this great weather and a new park's got everyone out here. And so many folks out here were off 104, so we're in the southernmost part of Franklin County near the Scioto River. There are like two uh, access points for canoes and kayaks, seven miles of hiking trails. Dave, and if you're lucky, you may even catch a few bald eagles. Now, if you live in Gahanna, East of 270, you may be awakened tomorrow morning around dawn by the buzzing sound of a low flying aircraft. The Ohio Department of Agriculture will begin spraying trees like these to control the destructive gypsy moth accidentally introduced in New England more than 150 years ago and impossible to eradicate. And we're concentrating on a treatment block on the west side of Gahanna just by 270 to avoid situations like we had a few years back in Minerva Park. That's when armies of caterpillars defoliated tens of acres in eastern Franklin County. The goal is to build a firewall between Ohio and Pennsylvania, where the ravenous caterpillars destroyed 700,000 acres of woodland last year alone. There's 10 other states along the front line of the gypsy moth that are uh, trying to slow its spread. The caterpillars are trapped and counted, which helps determine where low-flying aircraft will need to apply aerial treatments. Folks in Indiana and Illinois ought to be thinking Ohio and Pennsylvania and I dare say Michigan. When you have 100% defoliation of your trees, it's not a pleasant place to live. Healthy trees can recover from the damage, but not after repeated destruction, which is why there's an active effort to save Ohio's trees. Oaks and maples are most at risk. We're trying to hit it early. We're trying to be proactive and hit it before it gets out of hand. The goal is to reduce the number of leaf devouring caterpillars. Another round of spraying will resume in June to disrupt the mating season. Dave, you're looking at a buckeye tree, that's safe. But ODA wanted us to know that they will be flying these low flying aircraft, not only Saturday around Gahanna, but in other areas early next week. They're very loud, and we get calls every year yeah. about that. So we want to talk about this in advance. And you see them spraying something out of there. People sometimes Absolutely. get a little bit nervous. Completely about that. safe for pets and people. It's a, a completely safe spray. And they yeah. can reassure us. One thing we got to worry about this upcoming weekend is going to be the next round of rain coming our way. And